Let's talk about this week's tip. I want to talk about labeling tools in your workshop or your tool trailer. Imagine a workshop where you can find everything, every tool, every jig, parts, boards, whatever you're looking for. One aspect that I've incorporated into my tool organization is labeling toolboxes, tool wrenches, and also tools. Let me explain before you jump to conclusions. If you store your tools into boxes, labeling those boxes assists you or someone who's working with you to quickly assess which tool you're looking for without having to open things up. The same principle applies to tool wrenches, parts, or fasteners. I have three routers. All the wrenches look the same, so labeling them saves me time and aggravation because they're not all the same. Now let's chat about putting labels on tools. Now why in the world would you want to label a tool if you know what that tool is? Well, I'm not talking about writing the word vacuum on your vacuum cleaner. I'm referring to noting part numbers for consumable accessories, like vacuum bag numbers, part numbers, HEPA filters, specialty bulbs, brushes, whatever. For example, I write the filter number of my Delta air filter so that I know when I need to replace this ratty, nasty filter, what number it is quickly and easily. So look, this is just a fast way. It saves time from researching for the tool online or searching the tool manual. 